Hey everybody, welcome to another stream with me, Supernotus, of this game. It's called Stories Untold. It's kind of, uh, it's developed by those same, um, the same people that made that, that space game that we tried playing. Uh, what was it? Observation? Observation? Yeah. Um, but this is the kind of first game they did. Uh, again, small uh, development team from Glasgow, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's an interesting selection of stories. Uh, let me just... Uh, I'm not sure if I need this music because it's kind of a... Um, what, would you, what would you call it? A text adventure type thing with a series of kind of options, if you like. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to need the music or not. As a bit more extra ambience, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to pause the music just now. Uh, if it's if it's too quiet, we'll maybe put that back on. But anyway, yeah. So this is stories untold. Uh, it's uh, kind of presented, at, you know, uh, screen wise and all the rest, like something like a kind of Stranger Things type. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's what it's. Maybe that's what it's uh, drawing its inspiration from. Who knows? Let's find out. The first story is called "The House Abandoned." Uh, then there's the lab conduct, the station process, and the last session. I think the game's a couple hours long, so we'll see how many of these we get through uh, in our time. House Abandon, let's go. Start the game. Some commands may be case sensitive, so yeah, it's a ty type in your commands kind of game. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's see what it's all about. Eventually. Devolver Digital. And No Code, No Code being that team. They've released two games, I think, and um, both of them have been award winners. So that's good, right? We've got some. It's like a microfiche type thing. And the cassette is the house abandoned. So I like the presentation style of this. It's stories Untold is very much that. Uh, that Stranger Things font, isn't it? So what's happening? What do we do? It's like, it's like an old ZX Spectrum. No, it's the Spectrum, the 128K. With the cassette deck built in. Don't know if you ever had one of them. I'd had the one with the rubber keys. No, no, I didn't have it. My dad had that one. But it's called a Futuro here. Futuro 128K. But we all know what it is. It's a game like this. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Well, I guess we're opening the glove box then. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Okay, so I can get out of the car now then, right? Open car. Don't know what you're trying to use. Uh, get out of car. I open the door and step out into the open world. The house's grand sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of me is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Uh, let's have a look in the garden first then. Oh. Go to the garden. I take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Well, let's have a closer look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. I probably need to turn that on then, right? The fuel gauge is healthy and it's manually operated. Okay, well, let's use the generator then. So this is, I mean, very much like kind of classic um, text adventures where you would type in, obviously, your your uh, commands. I switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. So if I go back to the front, go back. Yeah, okay. Back to the front of the house. The house is grand, etc. We all know this already because it said it before. Um, use the key in the door. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to, yeah, so use key. 
Okay. Apparently, I have to be a little more specific, a little less specific than that. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Wait, do I turn? So I insert the key and then I go. Ooh. Okay, that that's that's good. Can I go in? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, go inside. Sometimes you have to be more specific. Sometimes you have to be less specific. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Well, let's turn the lights on. The way this has worked already... Oh, okay, it works. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway's now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Well, let's go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Uh, go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Okay. Your sister... This game just crashed. There we go. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. Untouched since the last time you'd seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Looks like a closer look around. Seems like look around is a useful command. There's a lo also a large wardrobe in the corner. The door is slightly ajar. Are we, in are we going into Narnia, are we? Let's open the wardrobe all the way. You find a load of fur coats. It's empty apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Well, let's look at them. They're all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Well, that's okay. Now we'll go back. And there's also my room, isn't there? I said there was also my room. Two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. So, yeah. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Well, I guess we'll unwrap that, then. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus 2. Yeah, we're using it. It's been preserved well in the attic, and hopefully still works. Uh, well, what can we do to find out? Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well, blah, blah, blah. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus... 128K plus 2 computer and a copy of The House Abandon. It's all still to be set up, though. Well, okay, so let's set it up. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Well... Let's uh, play the game. Is that not what I was doing already? Hang on a sec. Oh no, it's gone dark. Oh, there we go. Here it goes, it's loading. The game is loading. Hey, wait, it's loaded upside down. Turn this, turn the monitor over. What does that say? I can't even read it. Get out! It says, get out! You pull up to the drive. Wait, wait, uh, wait a minute. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start all over again, then. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Ah. Let's get out of the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, well, let's go do what we did before. Go to the garden. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown, and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Should I have read this note, do you think? Yeah, well, look around. 
There's an old generator next to you. Can we turn it on? Will this one work? Oh, we've got power! There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Well, it's not going to last very long then, is it? Go back. We go back to the front of the house. Use the key. Oh, I have to wait for the, the text to finish. I can't just use the key like we did before. Now I can. You unlock the door, the click of the lock hurts to hear. Everything's just bad now. You know, it was okay the first time we got here, but as soon as we played this game, you reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Um, well, let's turn the lights on first, because that's what we had to do last time. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. I'm scared. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and trails all over the carpet. Wait a minute, I did that before I had a chance to read it. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Well, that doesn't mean someone else is in the house. They haven't turned the alarm off yet. Turn the alarm off. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. Well, because I turned I turned it off, right? You're still in the hallway, the noises stop, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. Just as long as the phone doesn't ring, we'll be alright. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Should I have read that note? You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks. It feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. That's your cue to get the hell out of here. Like, oh, there's a red X painted on there. Uh, why are we doing this? Well, let's see what's written on the walls. Whoa. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Why? <laughs> why? You step back to the hallway, your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, etc. Let's go upstairs. Let's do all the things you shouldn't do when you're in a horror film. You head up the stairs, they creak. Same but different. With a little dot. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Sister's sister. Is that the... Whoa! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. Uh, you don't understand. Neither can he. Neither, neither, neither can who. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. The call's coming from inside the house. I mean, that's potentially the worst thing, right? Hang up the phone. Relief. Same but different. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, something's different about them. Let's have a better look around. The landing's bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall. All misaligned. What are we supposed to do? Um, there was a locked... Go to my room. Doors bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. It'll be 1986, right? You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note, heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. And what is the code? I wonder. The code might be 1742. No, no, it's not. Uh... Must be 1986, right? Obviously. Same but different, etc. Yeah, we, we just want to open the door. I just want to open the door. I just want to open the door, please. You open the bedroom door. <gasps> Someone's coming! And then you see someone sitting in front of the computer. <laughs> okay, what, what's here? I probably need to go into the room, right? You enter your bedroom. 
The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Well, let's read the note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands. But still, you punish me. I can be with you now. Oh, that's scary. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Uh, end. You're pathetic. It was all your faults. See it. Hmm. What's, what's the, what exactly is the context of this? Fine, it was all my fault. I don't believe you. Like you mean it, please. Hmm. It was all my fault. Say it. Well, I did twice. F. I don't know. <laughs> An F just there. Finally. But slowly, you know, they have to spell it out like they're some passive aggressive idiot. I don't know. So what do we have now? Because that, I'm assuming, must be... That looks like the uh, end of chapter one. The end of chapter one. The beginning of something else, I'm sure. Can I skip the... Oh, caught myself before I sneezed. Ah, so now we've got episode two open. The Lab Conduct. I'm just going to get straight into it. See what it's all about. Some commands may be case sensitive. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I understand. So what's happening now? We have to go through the... Uh, do we have to go through the credits every time? I don't know. We'll just let the credits run for each episode chapter, whatever you might call it. Is there going to be another one of these, uh... Well, we're not doing the house abandoned anymore. Stories untold. It's quite an interesting sort of, uh... thing, I suppose. So let's see what the second game, second chapter... So we got a completely different presentation. It looks like we got people talking. We have myself, Dr. I don't know if you can hear it. It's very quiet. And in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. One sec, let me just uh, adjust that volume slightly for you. We have artifact 23 I think that'll be better. From crash site B. Department of Experimental Sciences. Pseudoscience. So follow the provided experiment brief exactly. Note details. Always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Refer to the manual for calibration. Okay. The green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Sync master. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non essential to the current experiment. Switch off non essential equipment. Alright, okay. You cannot proceed until your calibration <laughs> matches ours. When you're ready. Okay, so experiment one, internal analysis. Subject J1986 MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Right, okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. I don't really see... Is, my, is this all my equipment? What's... Okay, so all of this is usable. I don't want to do that right now, though, do I? Do I? I don't know. There's a camera there. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Is that on or off? I assume this has to be on. Charge ready. 
I don't really know what that is. And now we've got some sort of TV on with a with a heart inside it. Is that a heart? Uh, oh, awaiting X-ray data. Right. What do, what should I do now? Sync masters flashing. Okay. Good work. The X-ray is coming through now. Good work. No. I didn't know what the work was. The surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. No or signs of activity? Flat blind. What, a heart that's all on its own? Once again. Right. Experiment complete. Press enter to receive a new experiment task. Uh, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. A red laser. Right, so what's two? Card apparatus, LZR2 light generation, and a monitor set to RGB. I think that's probably all we need, isn't it? Uh, equipment layout. Drill, CC86, monitor, sync master, camera, test chamber, TV unit, signal generator, amp, and LZR2 laser. Right. Okay. So, what do we need? We need um, the laser, which is this one here, which is on, I think, 650 was what we wanted. Um, TV needs to go to RGB. Is that RGB? I think it probably is, right? And the sync master thing's flashing again. So I guess I just do that. Just cut away bits of, I don't know, organs. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a higher frequency. A higher frequency. Right, a higher frequency, he says. Oh, sorry, everything's just going a bit. Okay, so that part's done, but we need to receive a new task. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Increase the laser energy. Use the green laser. What does, does this... All right, yeah, oh, I see. So the light frequencies are there. Uh, so for the green laser, it should be 510. Uh, yellow, 570. Blue, 455. So we want 510. I see. I see. So back to the laser. 510. And again, this is green. What's that laser going to do? Oh, so it's all inside there, right? Reaction of some sort here. Some sort of reaction. Let's keep going. Increase again. Increase again. Demonstrate uh, blue laser. So the blue laser was. Uh, I forgot the number already. Uh, two. It was 455, right? And hit the green button again. What does that do? Well, it's beating. Well, would you look at that? We've just turned our heart back on. Do we have a pulse? Rhythm is stable. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. No activity. Let's push further. Possibly damaged. It's beating. You've got a heart that's not connected to anything, and it's beating. How can you pretend that that's not something? I don't understand. What's the next task then? Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to one. So acoustic resonance, card apparatus, the signal generator and the amplifier. Uh, we want a sine wave, which is this one. Um, and set it to 250 hertz. Okay. Uh, right, so we don't need the laser anymore. We want the signal generator, which is this one, the dual signal generator, a sine wave at two hundred and fifty hertz. It's starting at thirty odd. It's gonna take a while to get up there, isn't it? Can't 
It would be so much easier if I could just type the frequency in. But I can't. I can't. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. We'll get there eventually. We're almost there now. What happens if I go over? How easy is it to go down by one? Okay, there we go. 250 hertz. And we've got the sine wave on. So what's... What's this thing? Is that the amplifier? Uh, is that it? I guess it must be because the sync master thing's flashing. We sign wave. Not much of a response. Oh. Uh, updating the experiment now. I don't really know what kind of response you're expecting, to be honest. It's a heart. Okay, so what now? Increase the frequency to 500 hertz sine wave, an amplifier gain of 5. Right, okay. Ah, da, 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 da. So we want to double the out the signal frequency, right? We want to double the frequency. It'd be so much easier again, as I say, if I could type this in. Okay, if I drag up higher, oh, if I drag up higher, it goes a bit quicker, actually. Ooh. It's going up too fast. Oh no. Then I'll just go slowly the rest of the way. 500. Uh, this, it wants to be at 5. Which is there. And we'll sync it again, I guess. Sync it again. What's that going to do? Is that going to fix anything? Fluctuations and activity. Just blasting sound into it. What about, uh, what about what? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. We're running out of time. I don't know what for. For the heart dies. I don't know. Uh, test acoustic resonance. Switch to square wave, maintaining frequency and gain. Okay. So. Why can I not just do that? I mean, is that not... Well, that's your square wave, isn't it? That's literally all I had to do. Why did I have to go back to do that? Look, uh, things look like they're going a bit crazy there, to be honest. He's seeing spikes in movement. What's he trying to do? Blow the thing up? I need to trust you and keep going. What exactly are we doing? <laughs> Okay, new task. Maintain the gain and the square wave. Bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. A thousand hertz. Jeez. It's going crazy like that. Imagine doubling the frequency. That just seems... It seems like crazy. That's not what... Surely scientists wouldn't go, Oh yeah, let's... Uh, let's... You know, it's coming close to its limit. Let's double the frequency and totally destroy it. I like the noise as it goes up. Maybe not a thousand and one though. Eh? That might just be one too many. There we go. What's happening? It's going crazy. It's everything's. Oh, oh. I think it popped. Full activity registering. We did it. We did it. What exactly? We did it. Now we know how to blow people's hearts up. What? What's? What exactly are they doing? Stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. I don't, I don't... Attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. Alleviate discomfort? What, blowing up someone's heart? I can't think why you'd be why there'd be any discomfort there. Can you? Okay, what's the next task then? Protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. What? What are you... Right, well, all this stuff can go off then, right? 
No point having all of this extra noise. It might blow me up if I'm not careful. Now there's a drill there. Well, and then just here it goes. Let's drill into this. Oh, is there something inside the heart? Is there like a, a rock inside the heart? Okay, well that's just killed everything. How do you feel? <clears throat> How do I feel? Don't be scared. Don't know. We have a situation under control. Apparently they've got it under control. What is this? When I'm ready, we'll continue. Experiment complete. What are we doing? Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Why would I... Some random thing we've just been drilling into and messing around with and I'm going to just grab it. What are we doing? Just click it. Have to know what? What are you doing? Sorry about the flickering. Uh, I'll mark with a warning, I think, when it's going up on YouTube or anything. I didn't realise it was going to do this, so... Ah! It's scanning my brain. I don't know what it's doing, really. It might be like the Matrix. It's implanting me with knowledge, if I'm lucky. Probably not, though. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. Yeah, that's another floating orb thing, like in that observation game that they did. Later. It can show you its memories. It's going to show me its memories. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. New data connection ready. Okay, and how do I... Oh, now it's blue. Bit bright in my eyes. Ah! A lot more flickering images again, I'm sorry. I might need to turn the audio down again for some of these sound effects just to make sure that they're uh, not going to be a problem. There we go. Oh, now I've got a text thing again. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. A poisonous atmosphere. Spills into your craft, Use you're in great danger. Work your way through. So I'm navigating its its memories. Okay. Use a computer use the computer screen. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Right, so I can open the airlock door then. They've taken the organ from their leader. So it wasn't a heart? Some sort of robotic brain? I don't know what it was. Uh, is there not something we can... Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing something else. Oh, it's more flickering. Some sort of... Is that an astronaut? don't really know. Could have been an astronaut. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap. Incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the Can I move the metal out of the way? Miss Asian, please, continue. please continue, he says. I wish you'd stop interrupting. Let's clear out all this metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through the lights that surround you. Now attack your senses. Uh, let's look around. Now that we're not surrounded by metal. Circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Well, let's greet him then, maybe? Memory action unavailable. Oh, maybe... Greet silhouette, not Gree silhouette. What does that even mean? Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. My heart rate's elevated, is it? Very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Again, I've got to do something with this. New data connection ready. Watch out for the flashing. 
experimental sciences, guy with a like respirator on. And we're back in the room. So what are we doing now? We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We're all as one. We move together in unison. Is this going to be like... Um, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be... What happened there? Well, let's have a look around to see what we can find. What can we see? We're in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There's some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. They've tortured us. See, this is... It's... It's remembering some sort of writing on the wall. Let's read the writing. It's remembering us putting them in, in, into this machine, isn't it? Uh, symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Yeah, it doesn't like us. Let's get these wires off us. We can. Oh. Alarm. Alarm. We yank at the arrows protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. The action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. What are we going to do now? Uh, we were lying in a bed, weren't we? Can I leave the bed? Something's happening in real time! It's not a memory, it's happening now. Right, so you've just made me do this when we should have stopped. Uh oh, it's coming! And then there's that. Oh, and a child. Some hallways. I don't really know what's going on. What's happening? Uh, through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar, they don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We're alone. Together. Well, let's use the device then. If he knows how to use it, we should use what the heck is this? Right, what's... What are we doing here? We have to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Mm. Oh, hello. Something happened. So now we're here again. What's it doing? There's more than one. So wait, oh, well, why are we? we're now surrounded by orbs. It's the end. It's phantasm. It's gonna be a big, a, an old man coming along now. And a drill, a drill's gonna pop out this this orb, and or a big blade. We mean, no we mean them no harm. He says. How do they know that? Wait. One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. One day this will haunt you? Right, okay. Chapter 2! I don't know how, how long this game's going to be, to be honest. We might be through this pretty quickly. Yeah, we have to watch the credits between sequences, so... That's fine. Published by Devolver for No Code, no code Studios. Uh, station process is the next uh, is the next stage we're going to do. So I guess we just get straight into it, right? We're going to have a credit sequence again now. Oh, actually, while well, that's loading. Oh, that's loading. I just need to check something. There we go. 
There we go. All good. Right, so what's this next sequence then? Yeah, we have to do this again. We have to watch all this again. Again, very much inspired by, I guess at the time, a popular... Well, I'm trying to wonder now. Check when this came out, but I think Stranger Things had been out prior to this, I'm assuming, because that's really what it's taken its inspiration from, isn't it? Stories untold! Maybe you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to break this down into like sections, like I could do it before another game, like a, a chapter at a time. But why not just do the lot? Station 3, do you read me? Is this some sort of Arctic. That was Greenland. Research station. Is this going to be the thing? Enter passcode. I assume it's that number over there. What's that? 03. 03031968. Accepted, yeah. Well, that was easy to find out. Right, so what, what took me? Everything appears to be online, from what I can see. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, we can't reply. We should be able to hear you, though. I can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, right. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation, and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. Fire up signal monitoring? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Okay. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather. So I can't... Cabin power's not holding up. Myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Tune, this decode, and process? On the microfilm. So walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be able to help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay, first one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have what a quick is... read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. Microfilm handbook? Start the generator. Don't fuck it up. Oh, nice. So there's a handbook? Somewhere? Digital transceiver... What exactly am I supposed to do? Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Okay. Input. Where are these codes? What am I supposed to be putting in? I don't... Can't turn around. Can I do anything with... Ah! Oh, this will be the... Okay. I don't want to turn it, I want to go to the next page. What's all this? These are all callback codes. So what exactly... Oh. Oh, I think I see. So the, the authorization key. Code word abacus. So then the thing with that Abacus said, why this is, uh, oh, we've gone too far, haven't we? I should really turn this so that it's, like, not off to its side. There we go, that's better. Abacus. So there's, like, lines of text it's asking me to put in. Abacus. Uh, sys.exe. What does that say? Mine's 
D minus E is uh, dot E X E space minus D space minus E or hyphen or whatever. Uh, second one is allocate. Uh, is that a colon there? Can't really tell. Uh, 202 minus A hyphen A, whatever you prefer. And then output log output log and false. Why did that music start all of a sudden? Okay, let's try that. Alright, line one. Uh, sys dot exe as the first line and then allocate 202a and output help if I could type it properly output log false We're all good. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think you did it right. Oh, good, I did it right. Thank goodness for that. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. 30 seconds? Too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Make them top priority? Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Okay, give me the... Broadcast frequency. Ah, I don't know how I got the other one, but now I understand. 3500 kilohertz USB. So how do I... So it'd be... 3500 kilohertz? Which would be... Wait a minute. So is this is this displaying kilohertz? Well, it's not 350 anyway. It's gonna take so long to get up there though. To 3500. Oh well, it's definitely gonna be on the meter though, isn't it? Because yeah, that's going pretty far. 3500. A little high. 3500, now what? Okay, well it's on. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. It's like a numbers station. Turn that off. Chevron. Chevron. Is how many pages away from here? Chevron is like the second last one. I think I passed it, didn't I? Chevron. So what does that say? That says ref dot in it. Initialize something. Uh, w Z, I think. Then proc begin. Process begin, I guess. And get dot int. Uh, and then in parentheses. Is it six twelve X Y Z. Yeah, 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 so it's uh, 612, because it's the numbers from that, um, from that thing that, from the, the, the numbers station. So let's try, see if I did that right. Ref dot minus W, Z. 
it doesn't tell me if it's right until after I've done it anyway. So, and then it was prop begin. And lastly, get dot int. And I think the number was 612. I could be wrong. Let's see. Wrong. Great start. That was right though, wasn't it? Do you think that, is there supposed to be a space? Is it supposed to have a capital actually now that I think about it? I wouldn't have thought a capital letter would have made any difference. Now it's right. It was a capital letter that was the problem. So this had a capital letter as well. Really? And then, so that had a capital letter at the start of it too. <laughs> I didn't think that would be important, but it is, apparently. Right, right, and right! Yes, so 612 was correct. Thanks, Ray. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Next kind of. Up, um, one, what does GCS mean? GCS? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. GCS3... Check the microfilm. Might be something in there V1, about it. V1, V1, M1. Let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. He hasn't heard back. Sure thing. It's probably not good, right? Okay, here it is. Whoa. Active scenario. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. 11, 320 yeah, AM. Like the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been up, 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 up. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. 11320. Uh, let me just check something quickly actually. Okay. 11320. It's a long wait to get to that number. <laughs> so much easier if I could type it in. But no. Wait, what does this do? I wonder if that's any quicker. Do you know what? It probably is. 11... 1, 2... Okay, that goes up by 1 each time. 2... 3... I don't think this is uh, the quickest way to do it anyway. What's the number? It's bloody Morse code, isn't it? I think that was one of the phonetic conversion Morse code. Come on. <laughs> right. Starts again. That's zero. Nine. Seven. Seven three. Zero. Zero. Nine. Seven. Same again, seven. Three. Zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. Yes, code word Kansas. Back we go. I need to turn this round, first of all. No. Kansas. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Kansas. Centaur. Orange. Landscape. Whiskey. Canvas, but not Kansas. 
Kansas. So, okay. So we've got capitals. We need to remember that we need to use capitals. Point dot pkg dot ex. Uh, the numbers are the largest number from the broadcast and the smallest number from the broadcast. Right. So the largest number was 9. The smallest would be 0, right? Surely. And then the same again. Point dot pkg dot ex zero and then the last part is srl is it srl could be a let's try sal because sal uh minus hyphen a hyphen god 4g i think Right, let's do this then. So, uh, line one. And again. Zero. And then the last thing was S A L. Let's try it. That must be SRL then, right? Or is the G a capital? That is, isn't it? It is a capital. Ah, there we go. Resource allocated. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely Just looking out. at a generator. Scorched earth? Hold on a minute. And we were supposed to hear from the That's not good. Days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. No one responding to him. The storm? I hope not. Playing a game of global thermonuclear war. Range for me. They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. Eight. Eight. See if you can track it down for me. Somewhere between That's eight to... Eight and a half thousand we can hertz I'm more worried that they didn't turn on the FM band. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. What? Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal. Or and the obvious option would be 8250, right? Eight or bouts. Uh, eight. Try 8250. Does anyone read? Supply vessel 20F, do you read me? Oh my god, that fam. 20F. It's a distress signal from supply vessel 20F. Distress signal. Please respond. Please respond. We're, We're here. I need to turn it up a little bit. I don't know if it, if it's really audible for anyone but me. Some stuff on board, but not enough. Storm. Or them. Them? Who's them? Hold up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. New York has fallen. Be ready. 20F out. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, two. Three, do the same. Lock your door? What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. Something's happening. What are you talking about? The last, just I mean. do it. They're here. Ugh! Who are they? Aliens. Shit, one, there's another GCF signal coming yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we process it still? Yeah, as long as the GPS yeah. number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. LSB 6970. What does it mean? 
That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Hotel Bravo Echo. Light. Zulu. Mike. Sierra. Zulu Sierra. Hotel. Hotel Bravo. Bravo. Echo. Echo. Light. Zulu. What now? What Sierra. are these? Hotel. Letters. Bravo. Signifying. Echo. Are they just literally? Light. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Just gotta look and see phonetic conversion. Echo. Well, yeah, I know that. I know what each of those means. Light. Zulu. Can you zoom in on this? Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Can't zoom in on these. I mean, the obvious thing would be to go by Zulu. then Zulu. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. There is a zoom, it's here. Oh, no, that's focus. Zulu. Well, I want it to be as focused Sierra. as I can get it. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. I mean... Ah, there's Light. numbers there. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. The trouble is it'll be... Substitution Light. of some kind, won't it? Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Can I focus that better? Echo. That's about as focused as I'm going to get it right there. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Um. Bravo. Echo. I can't see that. Light. Zulu. Okay. Sierra. Oh, frequency. Hotel. What was Bravo. the frequency? Echo. Sixty-nine seventy. There. Light. All right. So we're transposing letters Hotel. to positions Bravo. Echo. in the alphabet. Okay. Two positions. Light. So. Zulu. A B C D Sierra. E F G H I J Hotel. K L M. Bravo. Echo. Oh, Light. Zulu. Back through. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Let's have a look at that again. Light. Doesn't feel right. Zulu. So Sierra. Mike M. Hotel. Bravo. On sixty nine seventy is fifteen. Let's just look for it all here just to save. Light. Zulu. Fifteen. Sierra. Hotel. Zulu is Bravo. two. Echo. Sierra, right? Light. Is twenty one. Sierra. One five two two one. Hotel. Bravo. Hotel. Echo. Ten. Bravo is four. Light. And Echo is Zulu. seven. Sierra. Okay. Hotel. I understand. Bravo. I think. Let's try it. Echo. Light. Yes. Code word is Centaur. Sierra. Centaur. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. I saw that, but I can't remember where exactly. I need to zoom out so I can read it better for Light. the moment. Zulu. Uh, turn. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. That's very zoomed in. Echo. Oh, I need to focus differently as well so that I can read it. Light. Sibling. Zulu. Chevron. Sierra. Drive. Hotel. Sacrifice. Bravo. Jennifer. Echo. Home. We're looking for Centaur, right? Centaur. Light. Centaur. Let's go up a bit. I can zoom in better. Sierra. 
What the heck? Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Oh, hello. Live. Must input the following command lines in the terminal, substituting any dynamic Yellow. and execute. Hotel. So we're looking at M dot status. Again, Echo. we've got capitals in here. M dot status. R. Zulu. Command. Sierra. Hotel. Dot. Bravo. Str Echo. string. Zulu. And H. My. Dot grid. Zulu. Sierra. Dot. Is that a W? Hotel. Bravo. Let's Echo. try it and see. Let's try it and see. My. So. M. Oh. Zulu. Oops. Sierra. M dot Hotel. status Bravo. R Echo. command dot str Zulu, Zulu. Sierra. and h dot Hotel. grid Bravo. dot w Echo. I grin My. Zulu. I knew that one was wrong Sierra. <laughs> Hotel. Red. Bravo. W. Echo. There we go. Allocating resources. It's happening now. There's something. I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling. One. I can see something above three's cabin. Something above my cabin. I'm three, aren't I? One. Are you there? Ooh. There's a monster! I think one's the thing. Mandatory blood tests. I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? Not that that really helped, did it? Shit, it's above me. It's over station three. Above me, too. What is it? What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? They're here! It's fine. It's fine. They're here. Who are they? What? What's. Shit. One just went offline. GCS7 equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. An urgent one now, is it? Okay. Uh, let me just check something. Um, 8150 USB. Anyone 80? Oh. Oops. One eight nine zero four five. That's a nice easy code. One eight nine Oops, zero not one eighty nine. Sacrifice. One Got to do some uh, Steiner one mathematics. Zero four five. Sacrifice. And sacrifice. Guys, are any of you walking around in that one storm? Eight. No. That's crazy. You'll get yourself one killed. Zero I'm just no one's walking outside. around. You're seeing things, four. There's a four. One, eight, nine, Eagle zero, sacrifice four, right at the end. Five. Landscape orange one, centaur eight, home. Nine, sacrifice. Zero, four, What's that say? Rot dot x. Rotation is this? One, eight, nine, dot x. Zero. X is numbers three. one, two, and three from the original Number broadcast. Station four, do not go outside. Don't okay. go out there. Stay I'm, inside. I'm not outside. Do not go out there. So the first three numbers were one eight nine. One, uh, actuate nine, zero, four, five. dot Y and Y is numbers four, five, and six. Eight, so that's nine, zero four five. Zero. Um, Guys, I'm shutting down station five and authorization word from station appendix C. Six. Station six is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. Point dot one. So, there's some kind of authorization war word in appendix C. A, B, C. Why, what's this all about? 
Four, five. Start. Signal modulation Nine. was Nine. USB. Four, five. To zoom in. Nine. Broadcast Nine. frequency Nine. Zero. Four, was 8150, five. wasn't it? Total number of broadcast numbers. Total over 30. 9, 18, 22, 27, so no. No. Alexander. Oh, I have to type all of that again? I remember, remember it was Alexander. Go. Uh, two was actuate. One, y. Nine, zero, zero, four, five. Five. And one is Alexander. Let's see. I got an achievement for correct response, so I'm assuming I'm right. What's this one about? Three. James. The last yeah. signal hasn't sent. My error. Is going crazy demanding a response. I think error. I think line the transmitter or something. We need to go. Error. Error. Please, Error. James, I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. Well, I need to go outside. Don't be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. Great. Ah. What was that? Can we... What are we doing? We're going outside? My upside... I'm getting dragged outside. What happened there? Where am I going here? There's a generator of some kind, is that what we're supposed to do? How do I access this? How do I do this? I've got to turn some sort of power on. I don't really know what I'm doing. Suddenly I have to go outside. Can I go any faster? Is this the right place? I feel like I've gone to completely the wrong place right now. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Seems like an awful long walk. something in, and there's some more stairs. I don't want to go too far and end up lost. Might already be lost for all I know. all this. I'm supposed to 
close to here. Nothing. There's another generator there. Oh, I wonder. That generator's on. The other one's not. I'm going to have to go all the way back to that generator. And then all the way back here again. Why did the button not work on the generator when I was there? i turn my volume down in my ears just a little bit. Well, there it is. Why not? There we go. Now where am I going? I'm so lost. I'm so lost. That was the way we came. Okay. Okay. This should be working now, right? For now what? What was that about? Uh, is that not working? Is there supposed to be... Has that worked? Oh no, there's a big noise! Like a foghorn! That wasn't annoying at all. Let's get out of here. I assume we're done. I can't feel my legs, James. She can't feel her legs. Maybe she doesn't have any anymore. So there's cars tired. there. It's, uh... Hang on. It's the War of the Worlds. James, please. It's the War of the Worlds. Massive tripods are going to break out from under the ice. He's coming back. It's coming back or I'm coming back? What did he just say? Well, let's go back to our little chamber. That noise really does just overtake everything. Get out of here before it's too late. That's it. He's coming back. I thought I saw something moving in the shadows. James, everyone is waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming back. Just wait. These machines, they are your lifeline. Follow them. Please. Machines are my lifeline. Not machines. Go to them. Tell them what happened. Oh, look. Mr. Asian, can you hear me? Tentacles. Get back inside. Is this my door? There we go. We're back. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to what? To be concluded. Ooh. To be concluded. There's one more chapter, I think, in this. I don't know if that's the conclusion of this. Maybe it is. Is it? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute.
Sorry, so I just have to do one one thing there quickly, just uh, uh, to check something. So we have got the last chapter, the last session, in fact, to deal with. Let's find out what it's about. Let's watch the credits. Let's go. What's this one about? Is this the conclusion of the other one? Let's find out. Credits again. I think that's enough of that for now. Oh. What's happened there? Credits off. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Fond of the show? They're breaking the fourth wall. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Time to go ob observation room? What is this? Pew pew. Got a cross here. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Feel like home? Don't worry. I don't know. Try and get you out of here eventually. Quit. Just Under stress. Just keep a healthy mind. I'm guessing that's for quit smoking. Oh. Now we're in some kind of interview room. Can you not aim a light in my face? Wait, what is this? Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Okay. I'm guessing I have to record something with this little button here. Doesn't work. No, you, you play, press play and record at the same time. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Well, didn't you, you're supposed to press this play and record. 12-19-86-23, new session entry. 12-19-86-23. Dr. Alexander leading, and in the room we have our patient. Maybe that'll be useful. Mr. James Asian. James Asian? James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. Two-week coma. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect... One sec, my door's popped open. ...merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes... I've always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box show you your memories. Look into it. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything, really, to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Six twenty-three zero four. 
type in the numbers, James. Got to see them. This is 20 F. 12. 
Today was the first session with Mr. James Asian, although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction until there's a story about a computer game. I was talking to him. I think he was back at his own house, his mum and dad's house, and he always stalked about a room with a red X. He couldn't get in. I don't know what any of this means or what it's going to do with the accident, but I guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that. We're going to try again tomorrow. You honestly believe that Hennings was drunk at the wheel and not this little ship? If he wakes up, when he wakes up, I want answers. Until then, you handle it. You write it up. I'm out. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Come on, 100 joules. Charging amp full to 10. Come on. Can we get this on the screen, please? Clear. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge to 10. Two hundred joules. Keep the charge at ten. Let's go. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. <laughs> Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. The, 
drill. Please. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort.
sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. You're all over the place, James. Pull over. James, for fuck's sake, pull over! James! This very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister, your parents, yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on, show us what you did.
yourself part over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident, that poor man, me, you have to remember. It was all your fault. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. It has to end, James. Do you not understand? This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop. Stop. Make it stop. You remember. Stop the session, Mr. Ishii. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Has my microphone been muted this entire time, by the way? It has, hasn't it? <laughs> Never mind. See